Hey, 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 I picked up my final toy that I was needing. I did find one of these old Demco power modulators. And the name kind of is deceiving. It, that was a marketing, you know, uh, what do you call a marketing gimmick they used to uh, make sea beers think these things were really going to do something. This was designed for the old Demco satellite uh, tube type uh, CB series that came out back in the 60s. And uh, basically what it is, it's a mic amp with the clipper tube is all it is. It has the clipper after it. And it was designed to drive the old tube type uh, uh, transceivers, the early ones that where the mic inputs needed some drive, like these old couriers. And I was looking at the plug that's on it, and uh, I could tell you exactly what this thing was wired for by looking at that quarter inch photo plug. Well, I can tell you probably for you know 99.5% certainty, it's probably wired up for an old Sonar FS23 radio. <laughs> and I know that because that's one of the radios that people used to use these things on exclusively back in the day. And uh, those those radios needed some drive. The mics did need some drive, so that this was the solution. But uh, this one has never been touched. It's all original. You can tell. It even has the old 12-volt vibrator still in it. This, went, this thing would run on 12-volt uh, DC as well as 120 volts AC. But uh, I bought this primarily because uh, I had one many years ago. I only ever had one of them, and I know what they were for, and it worked okay. And uh, I'm going to take one of my non-amplified D104s without the amp in the base, and I'm going to run it into this thing, and I'm going to run the output into that courier. That courier is going to be my modified 10-meter AM radio. So, uh, by the way, I did finally get those knobs off the... Uh, the four fluted spline wrench, the little, it looks like an Allen, but it has the four flutes on it. It got it right off. It took me like five seconds. Kind of helps when you're using the right tool, doesn't it? So that was the solution for that. But uh, I'm going to go through, I'm going to take this thing apart. I'm going to restore it, change all the caps, check all the resistor values. I'll pr I might modify a couple of resistor values. I'll run a generator into it, an audio generator, and I'll look at the output with the load, and I'll see what it does. I may tweak some of the values to improve it some, but... The face doesn't have any scratches. It just has a film of stuff on it for the, from the past 45, 50 years, you know? And uh, it just, a little bit of goo gone will get that right off some Windex. I can probably shine it up. I, maybe a light coat of car wax over the front of it. It should look like a brand new one in the front, and the back will be the same. Now, the cab that, I mean, the uh, the lid, I mean, is, is you know, it needs to be repainted, and it's that's fine. Some black wrinkle finished paint will restore that like new again, so that's a piece of cake. And I can always take it down to the chrome plating shop down the road a ways and uh, have them chrome it to match the courier if I wanted to. Only problem is when you go to touch it, it's going to burn your hand because chrome gets hot. That was the one drawback about these old chrome case, these old chrome cabinet radios. Those cabinets got hot because you know they 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 uh, they they store the heat. The chrome stores the heat, but it makes it look really pretty. So anyway, that's what I want to show you. And uh, like I said, the, the, the name is kind of deceiving. It's not really a modulator, and it does nothing to increase your power. And I did find the, uh, let me get this here. I did find the uh, the manual online. And uh, it says, yeah, it's supposed to double your output power, but that's BS. It was a marketing gimmick, you know. What it, what it can do is... If you hook it up to a radio that has trouble getting the full modulated envelope, it'll make the envelope full. That's and That could, in fact, maybe increase your peak-to-peak -peak envelope power just a tiny bit where, you know, it's going to maybe improve it some. But it's it's not going to double your output power. This was a bunch of BS because they knew CBers back in the day didn't know any better. It was just a marketing gimmick. But I found the whole thing. There's a schematic for it. And... Uh, some of the resistor values are a little blurry. I'll upload this thing online because this is this is kind of hard to find. Then the second page has the uh, you know the uh, all the information how to wire it and everything. So, uh, but I had one of these many years ago and I always wanted another one and uh, now I finally found one. So now this was this was the final item I was trying to find and now I have it. And I could use this on other radios too if I need to. It's just basically a mic preamp with a clipper, which is great. So that's all for now with this old Demco power modulator. They should have called it the Demco mic preamp.
you know, mic preamplifier, which would have been the proper term to use, but they didn't. They were going to sell these things to CB or so it kind of like they made it sound as, as, as nice as they could possibly make it sound. Sort of like the audio fools and the, uh, the modern hi-fi stuff where they, they sucker people into these, they use these fancy terms and definitions thinking that they're actually getting something that they're not. So that's all for now. This is W5HRO.